Now let's go ahead and make ourselves a window. Again, I'm just going to be a little bit arbitrary in how I make my window. If I want to line the window up with the top of the doorway, one way to do that is to carry this line over to that point, and then I can use that as a guide for the top of my window, and then I can extend some lines down from that that are parallel to the side, and then I can go ahead and close the bottom up. Now, here again, this looks a little confusing. Let me make these lines bolder, so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. Make these all bold. Okay, now you can kind of see where that window is at. Same thing, I want to give a little bit of thickness to my window sill. So that inner corner and this upper corner both go back to my vanishing point. And then those inner walls go back to the same vanishing point as my wall does. My outer wall goes back to the same vanishing point as my inner wall. Okay, so let's make those bolder so you can see them. And I got a little bit of the floor, I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's still a little bit of the floor in here, but I'm going to go ahead and make this bold now. So you can, through this shadow, you can see the window a little bit better. I find this to be helpful. We won't necessarily do shading on our final drawing, but you're welcome to if you'd like. I always think it's kind of fun. And uh, there we go. So we have our um, the pitch of our roof. We added a shape to our box. We cut into the box with a doorway, revealed the floor inside, gave thickness to the wall of that um, structure, and then did the same thing over here with this window. Um, that's really all I want from you today. Um, but if you'd like to add some more fun things like a sidewalk or some trees, um, that would be awesome. And uh, let me just show you what that can look like. Go ahead and uh, maybe I'll draw a little walkway that goes out of the door. Drew my ruler instead. And maybe I've got a sidewalk. There's a sidewalk that's very close to my house. Sidewalk goes back to that vanishing point there. Need to connect this up. And then if I had some, um, you know, breaks in the sidewalk where the concrete meets the concrete, I can draw some little breaks. I think there's one here. These, by the way, are going back to the opposite vanishing point. And as they get further away, they're going to get closer and closer together. And there is a way to figure it out. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet, but they call that that law of diminishing size. But I'm just guesstimating right now. We don't need to get too technical at this point. 
And then, you know, of course, the sidewalk goes back to this vanishing point. This part of the sidewalk goes back to this one. But then these lines, the breaks in the sidewalk, would go back to the opposite one. And those will be getting smaller and smaller. Okay. And then let's go ahead and define, oh, let's add a little tree. Notice I didn't really do the tree with a box. I just sort of freehanded it. That's okay. Yeah, it looks pretty logical. Um, you can make organic things in perspective. It's a little bit difficult with a tree. But if you drew a box, you could kind of freehand it within the box, and that might be helpful as a guide. And then maybe we'll add a few fluffy clouds here, too, just to make our little scene. All right, that's fun. Okay, so again, um, that's how you would transform from a box into a structure like this. I um, started with my box and I added something to it. And I also took away things. I put some windows and doors into my structure, making it really take on the shape of something else and as we keep going we're going to talk about more things that you can do to add a sense of realism to what you're drawing um, hopefully this was helpful